The idea that you are constantly moving between illusion and reality may sound abstract, but you actually move between the two all the time. Nothing is real until it's real for you. Let's call this personal reality. Everyone's personal reality includes things like the sky, stars, trees, mountains, and the physical world in general. After that, nothing is agreed upon. You create your own version of reality and fabricate a story whose title is ME in capital letters. You start building your story as a child and believing as your own childish creation. Yet into the story, you have inserted dreams, fears, wishes, memories, and all conditioning. Most of these are just an illusion. Anything outside the present moment has no existence except your imagination. That's why you move in and out of illusions all the time. But there is a way to be here now and to find peace and joy in the experience. We'll learn how together, and then the pack will help us relax into meditation. Tell me a story and I will know who you are. That statement doesn't seem to have anything wrong with it. When you present your story, you're presenting your personal reality, which you believe in totally. This is accepted as a matter of course, but what's overlooked is that two people can fully believe in stories that are the exact opposite. Yet each thinks they are speaking the truth about reality. Stories are constructed in the mind, but the mind doesn't have an agenda until the ego steps in. The ego is simply your sense of being a separate me. This me has private likes and dislikes. It wants to feel strong, secure and important. Above all, it wants to live on its own terms. So stories get built up to defend me through all kinds of labels, according to gender, race, nationality, religion, politics, and so on. Each label reinforces me and makes me feel more real. Yet, if the stories are mind-made constructs, then it is undeniable that me is also mind-made, a construct that has no more reality than a passing whim you happen to latch on to. The fact that these whims pile up doesn't make them less fanciful. The ego has persuaded you that you are your story, simply because without a story, the ego would collapse. In every spiritual tradition, you are given the assurance that you're much more than your ego. At the deepest level, you are love, truth, beauty, creativity, discovery, inner peace, bliss and unlimited renewal and evolution. You are the expression of the infinite field of possibilities that is pure consciousness. The point isn't to believe this version of reality while rejecting the reality of your personal story. This isn't a contest, it's a choice. If you choose to live on the foundation of the story built up by your ego, you will orient and build your life on your changing likes and dislikes. If you base your life on the foundation of pure consciousness and the field of infinite possibilities, you build and orient your life on the enduring qualities of love, beauty, creativity, and joy. Make that your choice and your life will find constant renewal in the true nature of reality. In meditation, you are given a reason to choose something besides your ego-based story. Because in the silent mind, you discover something the ego cannot provide, the experience of inner peace. These experiences in meditation of inner quiet, alertness, restfulness, and joy are valuable. They are clues to the possibility that you are much more than your ego. In this way, you can make the choice to abandon your stories and seek the path of waking up expanding your awareness every day. As we prepare to meditate together, let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. 
I choose the reality of my deepest awareness. I choose the reality of my deepest awareness. Now, let's prepare for our meditation. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to be aware of your breath and just breathe slowly and deeply. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. Now, gently introduce the mantra Pragya Nam Brahma. Pragya Nam Brahma. This mantra reminds you that you are the universe, the still awareness within that allows you to experience your present thoughts and feelings is the exact same substance and space of experience which constitutes universal reality. Repeat it silently to yourself. Pragya Nam Brahma Pragya Nam Brahma With each repetition, feel your body, mind and spirit open into an expanded state of awareness. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, noises or physical sensations, simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra. I'll mind the time and you'll hear a soft bell at the beginning and end of the meditation. Pragya Nam Brahma Pragya Nam Brahma Pragya Nam Brahma
It's time to release the mantra. Continue to sit restfully, inhaling and exhaling slowly. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. As you continue with your day, contemplate the centering thought. I choose the reality of my deepest awareness. I choose the reality of my deepest awareness. Namaste.